building the new Francis Crick Institute Laboratories, the Crick Partners aspired to create a world-leading centre of biomedical research and innovation in the heart of London. Its work is helping to develop new treatments for illnesses such as cancer, heart disease, stroke, neurodegenerative conditions and infectious diseases. It's a novel kind of scientific research institute designed to promote collaboration and it itself results from a collaboration between six different partners. It's a completely new way of trying to understand how life works and it's going to be a fantastic success. Housing over 1,500 staff, 1,250 of whom will be scientists, countless opportunities will be uncovered that are fundamental to biological discoveries in health and disease. The Francis Crick Institute will be one of Europe's largest centres of biomedical research. Collaborative papers published between people working in the same institute have a higher impact than those that are published between people working in different institutes. This building is all about how can we make things work quickly, be efficient, how can we be much more innovative about the way we approach science and research. When you do get a novel angle on things, it's usually people talking who didn't realise they had something in common until they struck up a conversation. We've taken out all of the meeting rooms from around the building and then we've concentrated them in one space. It's creating another opportunity for you to bump into different People. The 980,000 square foot flagship building form is arranged as four laboratory neighbourhoods across three floors, connected by two atria and multiple communal breakout spaces to foster interdisciplinary collaboration. The workspace is spread across seven floors in total, designed to be highly flexible, responding to the changing needs and rapid developments of scientific discovery. By allowing research to operate at the highest possible level is continuously on integrating disciplines and actually making very close connections with other academic bodies. We have the three biggest universities in London integrated into the Crick. It will really let London punch at its real weight academically and biomedically. Being able to talk to Nobel Prize winners leading world scientists, they are going to be coming into this building. If any institute were able to solve the problem of cancer and other diseases, it would be the Crick. Our job on the Francis Crick Institute was to manage the commercial agenda. Firstly, we had to get a scheme which was affordable. Secondly, we had to make sure it was value for money, and every single penny spent was spent on creating world-class scientific facilities. And thirdly, in a very tough London market at the time, we had to manage the commercial risks to make sure the scheme was delivered on budget. Massively challenging project tight urban location with very deep basement, million square feet of heavily engineered space. And if that wasn't enough, science changes all the time. We had to adjust to those changing scientific requirements. The Francis Crick Institute is one of those iconic projects, a project where we had the opportunity as part of a team to create an environment for science where the world's best scientists were going to collaborate to create new breakthroughs in medicine. Construction of the £650 million project was completed in August 2016 and researchers and scientists from the Crick's Legacy Institutes have been moving in over the past several weeks. The importance of this building will truly be understood in years to come as groundbreaking research continues, contributing to the well-being of humankind.